my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus St. John the Evangelist in his gospel very rightly says Jesus loved his disciples and he loved them till the end and today's gospel is is a great example for the love that Jesus had towards his disciples towards his apostles he is praying to the father a very earnest prayer there are three things for which he prays to the father for their unity for their safety for their sanctity for their unity for their safety and for their sanctity he says father let them be one that is the dream of christ perhaps today that dream of christ is slowly getting shattered so much of division in the church under so many things be it language or caste under so many things the church is getting divided and the lord is hurt when the lord prayed to the father he said let them be one he wanted to see one church and how many denominations we have today and that is what we are becoming a anti witness to christ in the world if today slowly christ and christianity is losing its grip on the world today it's because we are becoming anti witness is christ divided that is the question of saint paul is christ divided and the lord is praying to the father today lord let them be one that was the dream of christ he prays for our unity not only in the church in the family in the parish wherever we go the unity tells us that we belong to the lord the unity that we have it is not uniformity it is not uniformity it is unity there may be lot of diversity but then in that diversity do i feel jesus is the uniting force and he prays for that unity father let them be one and the example that he gives is very beautiful as we are one he says just the way you and i are one that is the benchmark that jesus sets for unity nothing else he doesn't draw in he doesn't draw inspiration from anywhere else he says father just the way you and i are one let them be one that is the benchmark for our unity wherever we are as disciples of christ we are called to be united in the name of jesus in the name of jesus there may be 101 factor that is dividing us but there is only one thing that unites us is the name of christ the the name of christ should unite all of us and every time we go against this every time we make our divisions bigger and bigger we become anti witness to christ and secondly he prays for their safety he tells the father father keep them safe from the evil one i have kept them and he is telling the father you have given them to me i have kept all of them safe to this day except for the son of perdition all of them i have done my duty and he is also telling the father now now you also join with me you also keep them safe as a trinitarian god they are getting together in loving us in protecting us in saving us i have kept them now you also join with me is telling the father and he will also send the holy spirit and for that we are preparing these days for the for the day of pentecost all of them and he prayed for their safety and finally he prayed for their sanctity for their holiness he says sanctify them in truth and your word is truth every time we listen to the word of god the lord is telling we are sanctified the lord is making us holy and that is what must happen every time we attend the eucharist we attend the sacraments we listen to the word of god when we read the word of god we must become holy because the lord is sanctifying us and he will also send the sanctifier the spirit to sanctify the world he says when the spirit comes he will sanctify the world and we are preparing for that great day of pentecost
for the spirit to sanctify us again and again and this sanctifying grace is needed again and again it is not just once it is needed again and again today the lord has the same prayer not only for his apostles but for each one of us even as we are attending this holy mass he is praying for our unity unity in our family unity in our parish unity in our archdiocese in the church with everybody it is difficult we have lot of differences we have lot of differences at times differences that cannot be overlooked but then the lord says i am praying i am praying constantly for your unity and the lord is praying once again today very earnestly is telling the father father let them be one as we are one let us not worry the lord is keeping us safe he is praying for our safety and the lord is continually sanctifying us even in this mass he is sanctifying us and he is giving us his sanctifying grace as we thank the lord let us open our hearts so that this prayer of christ may be fulfilled in our lives too